as shown in the Season 8, Tell All of 90 Day Fiancé. Happily Ever After Angela Deem is a foul-mouthed woman, but the reality TV star also has a lot of disgusting habits that turn viewers off. Before collaborating with Michael Isle Sammy for Before the 90 Days in 2018, Angela featured in the films Maury and Trisha. Because of her insane conduct toward Michael on the program, it didn't take long for Angela to turn into a franchise villain. When it came to the yells and shouting, Angela was the one making herself look foolish, but she persisted in attempting to establish Michael was the villain. After arriving in the United States, Michael found the bravery to part from Angela. The last seven years of his life had been under Angela's influence. Social networking and employment were off limits to Michael. Nevertheless, Angela believed that she was the one receiving unfair treatment in the partnership. When all she did was lash out at him, she wanted Michael to show her affection. Although Angela's behavior at the tell all home scared her other cast members, the Georgian has much more repulsive qualities. A screenshot from season 8 of Happily Ever After of Michael adding liquid detergent to a washing machine was posted by Reddit user StrongYogurt7134. The fan brought up the fact that Angela urged Michael to pour too much of an amount of detergent. He just needed to take one spoonful from the bottle. But Angela instructed him to drain practically half of it. The fan complained that in addition to being extremely expensive, the detergent may accumulate on the clothing and in the washer if it was used excessively. Additionally, serious rashes might result from Angela's wasteful habits and those of her family. When Michael arrived in the United States and Angela showed him around her Georgian home, he was taken aback. In an Instagram video shared by 90 Day Fiancé, Michael can be heard saying, Oh my God, as he walks inside Angela's room and asks, Does she sell clothes or what? Angela stated that she had to quickly pack in order to travel to Abidjan and assist Michael with his visa, so she didn't have time to clean up her room. She said that all of the plush animals belonged to her granddaughter Marley, and that the clean clothing that were lying about. It seems that Angela had made up her mind to have Michael clean the house once he arrived in the United States. Innocently, Michael also consented to his sister in cleaning up. When they had previously shared hotel rooms, he had never noticed how untidy she was. Is this 90 day fiancé or hoarders? Inquired viewer Kikian Kibitz in the comments section of 90 day fiancé. As Chibabioflife put it, why wasn't she cleaning before he arrived? This is awkward. A few of repulsed followers made jokes about being able to smell Angela's residence through the television.